a producer sells two products X and Y in two different markets M1 and M2. In market M1, he sells 10 units of product X and 20 units of product Y in the month of January. In February, he sells 20 units of product X and 40 units of product Y. In market M2, he sells 5 units of product X and 10 units of product Y in January and in February, he sells 15 units of product X and 15 units of product Y. If the price of product X is rupees 5 and price of product Y is rupees 10, what is the total revenue earned by the producer? Let us first organize the information in a table. We may construct two tables for M1 and M2. Now the total units of product X sold in M1 and M2 is equal to 30 plus 20 that is 50. And total units of product Y sold in M1 and M2 is equal to 60 plus 25 that is 85. Given the price of product X as rupees 5 and that of product Y as rupees 10, the total revenue that the producer earns is equal to 5 into 50 plus 10 into 85 that is equal to 1100. Wait, someone is following us. They are vectors, a row vector and a column vector and they want to get multiplied. Let us help them. We have just done a matrix multiplication and 1100 is the revenue earned by the producer. All this time these vectors were there but we could not see them. They were invisible. This means that matrix is everywhere but it is invisible. In the next week we will try to use this invisible hand to solve the market model and the national income model. So see you next week. Till then enjoy life and keep learning.